<laughs> oh, <laughs> um, hey guys, got Tom Fish Little One Two Three here. Uh, today we're gonna talk about um territorializing your fish. Um, I have a perfect example of uh good fish territorializing myself. Um, first we'll go over all the fish. Uh, if you really are, if you if you know what you're talking about when it comes to fish, you know. Most people always think the ostriches are really aggressive. Same thing with Paku. I have my parrotfish. Mm, Jack Dempsey is right there. He's usually over there, that's why I saw it. My Pocostomus is under there. Actually the most aggressive fish in my tank. Now, I don't really have fish fight um, because I know how to properly territorialize. Uh, most people think, well, as long as I have enough tank space and, well, I keep South American cichlids as South American cichlids, oh, everything's going to be nice and peachy. Well, it's not true. you got to know how to territorialize. Most people always think their Oscars are going to be really evil and mean and destroy everything. My Oscar is the calmest, most peaceful fish in my tank, unless I'm trying to net him, which, well, it makes all fish go crazy. He doesn't fight. He doesn't chase a fish around. Unless they're little, like little, little. Um, all it is is you're, you're more aggressive like fish. You want to keep them, you want to take them out of the aquarium for about, right before you add your new fish, take them out for about 10 minutes and add your older, larger, more aggressive fish back in. This should territorialize. Uh, fish are really dumb, honestly. I'm just going to go ahead and put that out there. Fish are dumb. Um, they forget, they have a very, very, very short memory span. Uh, these guys have a sh much larger memory span than a, uh, say a goldfish, and they also remember, uh, tragic things that happen. Like, say, when you catch a fish, like if you go fishing or something out in the pond, well, that fish is going to remember that <laughs> you caught it. Even if you catch it over and over again. That's happened to us before going fishing, but, um, still and they remember things like that more tragic things I'm not sure about bass and all that but I mean I'm just saying fish like this I know they have a uh, they they remember tragic things like almost getting killed um but yeah uh, that's kind of what I want to talk about with territorializing it's the same thing with all animals people just do not know how to territorialize if you stupid to go and think I think Oh, well, I'm 50. I have enough money to buy this. I have enough money to buy this aquarium, so I mean, I obviously should. I think that's retarded. Um, I, I really do. Uh, uh, just because you're old and you have enough money to go buy that fish in the tank and the aquarium space for it does not mean you should go get it. I'm not being disrespectful, but that's usually when it happens. It's with older people. Um, but you, you you gotta pay attention. I know like most of the time people don't have time to devote their their whole like life like their devotion. They don't have time to put any devotion towards fish to an extent. Uh, I pretty much since all I do is go to school and come home and maybe like you know go work with my grandpa or work with my mom or clean up the house and stuff like that. Uh, I pretty much this is my life. I take care of animals and uh watch TV yep but uh other than that I mean I work on like the fields with my grandpa and stuff like that um I go hunting I go fishing I do all that stuff but I'm saying she should gotta put time towards this no matter like it, you might not want to but once you start doing it you find it's much more enjoyable um so yeah that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about uh Make sure you territorialize your pets before you just go buy them. Uh, that's pretty much it. Bye.